Hi everyone, it's Tiffany here to do my recap. I traded S, R, and E this morning. It was not on my watch list. Um, a few people in the chat were talking about it. Um, Brian was watching it at the open as well. I saw it that it um, sold off at the open and when I was watching it at, the, at first it sell off, I was kind of thinking that it was going to come back, test the VWAP and head back down. However, I have this level marked from um, pre-market, this 1575 level. As you can see right here, it, it hit it twice um, pre-market. And so once I saw that it, it used that as um, support and then, and then that first five minute candle had a really large wick to the bottom side, um, on the one minute, it started looking like it could be um, a head and shoulders. Uh, this being the head, <clears throat> an inverse head and shoulders, this being the head, um, left shoulder, right shoulder. And once it started making new highs here and pushing up through this nine moving average on the one minute, I took a, a long position with a very tight stop loss um, um, below the uh, previous one minute um, candle. And the reason I had my stop super tight was because um, it did sell off at the open and I was worried about it um, using the VWAP as, as um, I was worried about it re uh, rejecting the VWAP. So when it hit the VWAP, I took a 25% partial and moved my stop to break even. And then I took a 50% um, of my remaining shares off at this um, pre- market uh, resistance level and then it came back down and when it lost the VWAP I went ahead and exited my entire position which it also made a new five minute low this was not a great um, stock to be trading this morning it was the price action was terrible it was like it was almost it felt like it was watching paint dry um, but I missed um, a few other really great moves at the open uh, because I've just I've I've just been getting kind of chopped up lately with these opening range breakouts, and I'm I'm much better at spotting reversals um, here lately. Um, so that's why I kind of sat on my hands, and but then I felt like I kind of wasted time with this particular stock, and then I traded APHA. Um, I traded it as a reversal. It was very strong um, all morning. It um, had gapped up a lot and it I think it was all time high. It was very strong. Um, I was watching the five minute chart as it put up to as it put up a double top and this five minute candle right here with a really large wick to the top side. Um, I started watching it to make a new low and it was also on the one minute you had the nine and the 20 um, moving average crossing over and curling down with this 50 coming up. Um, so I took a short position and I kept my stop very, very tight. And when it pushed back up through the moving averages on the one minute, I ended up getting out. Another reason why I went short here is because the bids were stacking up and it looked like it was going to um, make a quick run back down to this nine moving average on the five is what I thought. Um, but it did not. It wasn't ready yet. Um, it also, um, it was not too far. It wasn't quite, it wasn't too extended from the um, VWAP. And usually when there's a super strong stock, um, I like for it to be extended from the VWAP. And I also like to see an indecision 15-minute um, candle close and, it, and then make a new low before I enter. Um, and that didn't happen either. Um, so then on the second attempt, um, it was a double top. It was after um, a 15-minute indecision candle. And... Um, this is uh, a bit of, uh, this is inspired by Peter's Mountain Pass strategy. Um, here you have um, two attempts to make it past uh, up through 24. The second couldn't quite get as high as the first peak. And you have the 9 and the 20 curling over and crossing down. The 50 is coming up, but it's not quite 
touching the um, the nine and the twenty yet, which is previously when I entered it, um, it had already crossed over when I entered into the position. Um, so when it lost this second peak and these moving averages, I went short with a tight stop above this second peak. Um, and I took my first partial at the 50 moving average, and that was a 25% partial. And then I took um, a 25% partial at the um at this level right here which was um support from earlier and then i started then once i took two 25 percent partials i started i started taking 50 percent of my remaining position at moving averages and um, then i took one at the vwap and then i ender, ended up exiting the and uh, rest of my position when it made a new five minute high um, it looked like it was uh, bouncing off the VWAP, so uh, and it and it came back up through all these moving averages on the five and the one minute chart. So I exited the rest of my position. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and have a great night.